Okay, so this is a 5 inch dial gauge uh, with a precision of a 0 0.001 inch, which means uh, each tick marks outside. You see, there's like a, a actually three um, um, circles here. This is the outside one, and like a, you have like an inner one, and also another uh, inner one. So with a 0 0.001 inch precision, which means uh, uh, each tick mark outside is 0 0.001 inch. And if we go through a one complete cycle, that will be um, 100 times that number, which means 0.1 inch. And you realize the inner cycle move, for, uh, move to one. This means like a 0.1 inch right there. We go to another cycles, that will be 0.2 inch, and then this will be 0.3 inch, so far and so far. And if we move one complete inside uh, cycle right there, that is move it, moving one inch, and you can see by uh, another inside cir uh, 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 circle right there. So with this, have a five inch of range. So if we go all the way in, you realize um, this inside circles go, go from one, two, three inches, four inches, and five inches. So this is the five inch uh, dial gauge. Okay, so this is um, a one inch dial gauge. As you say here is the range zero to one inch with a position of 0 0.001 inch. Uh, which also means like a, uh, if the outside circles moving like a one tick mark, that will be give us a 0 0.001 inch of measurements. And if we go through the compass cycles, let's say if we go through the compass cycle here, 100 times the 0 0.001, that give us a 0.1 inch. And if we keep moving the um, the dial gauge from the inside circle, you, you see like a one, a one uh, cycle outside pass, we got 0.1 inch. And then another like cycles, we got 0.2 inch, and then 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0.5. You realize this is a special one because from the uh, inside circles, you have whenever we pass a tick mark, we have an options of uh, 0 0.5, um, 0 0.1, 0 0.6, which means the first time passing it is uh, 0.1, and then the second time passing it is 0 0.6, and so forth and so forth. So now I'm the second time passing the second tick mark there. So this is 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and go to zero. So you go through the whole range of the dial gauge from zero to one inch. Okay, so this is a very special uh, dial gauge because it has a very 
short uh, travel distance. <coughs> you have a, a positions of uh, down to a thousands level uh, uh, moving uh, with, with each uh, positions from the outside circles is 0 0.001 inch. So if we move like uh, one cycle there, there one whole complete uh, cycle from outside, there will probably be 0 0.001 inch. And if we move, uh, as also we can see from like the inside circle, we move like uh, from 0 to 1. So second uh, cycles from the inside, that will, that will uh, give us 0 0.002 inch. And if we go all the way from the inside circles, go through one complete cycles, that give us like a 0.1 inch readings. And this dial gauge takes two complete inside uh, cycles. So this is like a 0.2 inch dial gauge. Okay, so this is um, uh, SI unit dial gauge. Uh, as you can see, uh, now we are uh, reading millimeters uh, rather than in inches. And it is kind of like a one inch dial gauge that goes through from zero to uh, 25 millimeters, which is about one inch. So if we go through like a, from zero to, uh, from the uh, outside positions to the all the way in, we get almost get uh, 25 uh, millimeters. And the positions of this dial gauge is 0 0.01 millimeters again, which means like uh, uh, each tick mark from outside, we are reading we are reading 0 0.01 millimeters. And like if we go through um, if we go through like a one complete cycles like that, they give us like a one millimeters. So one complete cycle outside is one millimeters, and this dial gauge able to do about 25 millimeters. So this is a, a SI unit dial gauge. Okay, so this, this one is a special dial gauge. Um, again, it's an SI unit uh, with uh, positions of, as you can tell from there, is 0 0.001 millimeters, which means like a one small tick mark uh, from the outside circles is 0 0.001 millimeters. But realize that this uh, is a special one because um, instead of reading from 0 to 100 uh, as a typical dial gauge, this one, the outside circles, we from zero to 100 and then 200. So this is like a 200 readings outside from there. So when like this dial gauge travel like a, a half cycles, then we got like a 0 0.01 millimeters. And if we travel the whole cycle, then we get 0 0.200 meters. And it agree with the inside circles Again, like, you know, if we travel like at the complete outside circles, the inside circle will move by 0 0.2 millimeters. So like uh, each tick marked inside uh, the inside circle represent 0 0.2 millimeters. So um, this dial gauge of five, have a five millimeter, five millimeter range with a 200 millimeters uh, outside reading per cycles.